Hey folks, it's Shane Getson here, the MLA for Laxian and Parkland, and I'm with uh, Mr. Reg uh, Faulkner. Uh, absolutely, you know, so Reg, I've been telling everyone about our constituency, I refer to it as God's country. And the more folks that I get out and I meet, uh, the more that holds true and the more I can say that in, in the ledge for sure and also to the folks in Alberta. And Reg, we've been going around um, dropping in different areas and talking about different businesses. And I was simply blown away. I went over to Gosmere's Gallery and, and uh, last year at the Dragon uh, Fly Festival and seeing all the local talent and the artists. And I was just down the road at your neighbors here at, a, at Pottery Place as well and bought a couple pieces there. But some of the colors that you have and also what you're doing locally with the community of the First Nations. Uh, we're fortunate enough to have Alexander, Alexis and Paul and to find out that you have some of the folks from Paul Band on here that you're working with and demonstrating and turns out it's on Arabella magazine, which uh, is pretty renowned across the country itself. Can you tell us a little bit of how you got into this and what, what you're up to? Well, uh, Shane, it started with me being asked to sponsor the Northland Indigenous Princess uh, program that uh, Alexis First Nations started with Northlands for uh, the K-Day uh, exhibition, uh, K-Days, and it was the first powwow. So I ended up being asked if I would be the uh, photographer, the Indigenous Princess photographer, and if I would sponsor them. And, that, and of course, that's uh, what I wanted to do would, was to capture images and do art of First Nations people. So I definitely was interested in doing that. So that's where this started three years ago. Hmm. And from that, it's evolved into collaboration with Indigenous artists. I've had a love for Indigenous art since I was a little kid in grade hmm. four. And so this was a golden opportunity for me to explore what was my passion already and to produce art that I felt was the best art that, that I've ever seen and uh, in, employs all the things that I like about mm -hmm. art, which is uh, uh, the cubist type uh, geometric forms along with natural forms and also embodying the human spirit. So all the elements that are important to art that that attract me to art are in our First Nation mm -hmm. culture. So that's how this all developed. And uh, now we are collaborating yes. with Indigenous artists uh, because it is portraiture. Uh, it's involving people at a very personal level. Yep. And uh, I tried to find a way where I could work with this art without having the stigma of cultural appropriation. So I spent a great deal of time studying indigenous cultures and those collaborations with other artists and come across some what I thought would be workable models yeah. to work with our indigenous artists where we share cultural uh, appreciation of our cultures without adopting or assimilating the other culture. How can we work together? within our own cultures without robbing or taking away from that other culture. And so that's what we're seeing happening here with this work. This is a, a cultural appreciation, not cultural appropriation. Yeah. Uh, the editor of this magazine was concerned about the cultural appropriation aspect of this art, being that I'm a non-Indigenous person, I'm a white settler artist. She was quite concerned about that, particularly down east with all the problems that's created. When she saw the cap contract I had with Nadia, she felt relieved because not only am I collaborating directly with art and uh, getting opinions on what I'm producing as art together before I finish that artwork, it's a collaboration, but I'm also sharing the copyright yeah. this artwork, the final completion of the artwork. So I built a program that allows the artists, all the artists, which is me, the final artist, the, the photographer, and the subject to share equally in the commercial uh, uh, value of these images. So there's a really unique uh, contract that was done traditionally with the trading of tobacco 
and also a, a legal binding contract. Well, and I, I think we always talk about transferable skill sets and we're growing pillars of the economy and you have different backgrounds. And, you know, talking to you, we share a similar era. We're kind of the construction guys in the crowd yeah, here. Right. So you, you kind of, you know, you started out having an arts uh, exposure, but I mean, you worked in surveying, you had your own companies, worked for Alberta Transportation, doing those things very much. And then you were talking about claim settlement and those type of things. And I think it's interesting how you took something as, uh, wholesome and holistic as this and applied those other skill sets. So not only was it the traditional sense, but it was honest and pure and making sure that was also transposed from your prior life of contractual obligations. And again, when we do those handshakes or you know pre-COVID days, when you can do those handshakes and those agreements, they're always followed up by paper. But the fact that you capture that essence with that cognizance of making sure there was no cultural appropriation, that it was fulsome, and then going forward, the, the individuals you're working with yeah. aren't just models, you're sharing your creativity and show, giving them those skill sets too so they can learn the craft. That's, uh, that's it's huge. That's Thank absolutely you. huge. Um, so again, if folks are coming up to this area, we're out in God's country, out in Fallis, and uh, there's a big sign on the side of the road that says uh, um, Faulkner Art Fine, Studio, I believe. Faulkner Fine Art. Faulkner Fine Art, and uh, keep a lookout for this. This is an amazing story. And, you know, again, to myself, prior to being a politician, I was never at the powwows. And I couldn't get over the regalia that was there and the, the amount of work that goes into it. So the fact that you can capture that is, is absolutely amazing. So, yeah, please keep up the great work. And, uh, yeah, I definitely work, look forward to working with you and getting your story out and as, as well as the folks from the First Nations in our area here. So awesome. thanks for your time. Thank you. Take care, folks. We'll talk to you soon.